Welcome to another episode of Dinri's Hobby. This is a betta fish. Betta fish needs Daphnia. And Daphnia needs green water. Then the green water produces, oh wait, introverse. Welcome back to my channel and today's episode is Beta Keeping Essentials. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the like button. Since we are on beta keeping, it's obvious that the beta fish is on top of the food chain. Beta fish eats Daphnis and Daphnis eats green water and the green water reproduced by any decomposing materials like dead plants or fish. Now for the green water reproduction, we need a 1 liter green water as a starter. Now we need a container. I'm going to clean the container. Now that the container is clean, we're going to fill it up with water. Now we are going to add the 1 liter green water. We are now going to prepare the mixture. We need 6 tablespoons of this rice bran. By the way, I'm using a fabric that's called silk screen. Here, I'm going to juice it out. We just need the extract of the rice bran for our green water culture. We have here fertilizers. I just add one tablespoon of urea and this other one is called complete. Another one tablespoon. I'm also going to add an aerator for oxygenation and then set it to the highest pressure. It needs a minimum of 4 hours of sunlight daily for the green water to reproduce. Now, all we need to do is wait for the color to become emerald green or dark green. Here, I made another one. A container, add 1 liter of green water. Add three and a half bucket of water. Prepare the mixture and add six tablespoons of this rice bran. Let's juice it out. Voila! Add one tablespoon of complete. One. One tablespoon of urea. One. Then add an aerator for oxygenation, then set it to the highest pressure. Here it is, day three. Fourth day and it's ready. Since we have enough green water, we are now ready to propagate the daphnias. Any container will do. This one I got a bucket. I'm gonna put 3 liters of water. Then 6 liters of green water. You have to add a small amount of fertilizer. our Daphnia starter. All we have to do is wait for two to three days for our culture to grow. Daphnias are master of forbidden technique. After two days, Kagebunji no Jutsu! Now it's hard.
harvest time. We are now ready to feed these Daphnias to our Prada fish. And this is my harvest for the day with only four small containers. Every after harvest, we are now going to feed the Daphnias with green water. This is to ensure that the culture has enough food on it. This is day 4 and I'm going to use this weapon to capture the Daphnias. Daphnias, you can't skip from me. My betta fish are hungry. As you can see guys, how convenient. I'm not going to go to uh, find a canal to capture some deafness. Here, I'm just doing it on my backyard. We will also have no problem in breeding betta fish. Since we can feed the betta fry with the best food we have. By the way, if you are on your fourth harvest, it's better to reculture the Daphnius since it's ready to crash. Now, let's review. Make lots of green water, give it to our Daphnius, then give the Daphnius to our Betas. This method is convenient, fun, and a money saver. We can now breed our Beta fish because we have lots of food for them. The end. If you find this video helpful and useful, please support my channel by sharing it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hasta la vista, baby.